I believe it. I knew in my heart, hey, this can't be right. This, I was a captain. I said, well, this, this can't be right. But I had the heart to do what, y'all? Walk up to Brother Minister and say what? I can't do this. I need to be relieved of this post. I cannot operate. People like this. You know what I mean? And I had a strong lieutenant. I had to constantly hold his hand back. Because he, he wanted to get loose. But I was like, I knew you lived by the sword. What? I knew that. You see? So I said, well, hold it, brother. No, hold it. A law will handle this. And true to life, that's how it played out. Do you follow me? But we are trying to build here. Am I right? Yes, sir. I won't even say we're trying to build. I will say to you, we are building. Yes, Do you hear what I'm saying? We are building. And we thank Allah for the support we get. Right? But we thank Allah for the denials we get. Too. Because it lets us know we have to try a little harder. Am I right? See, see something good from Allah with the bag. Somebody may want to walk up and kiss you. Huh? They may want to walk up, lean in on you like with a smile, like they love you again. Smack that smack on you, right? All the time telling what? The adversaries, the enemies, what? This is how you get it. That's how you're gonna know. This is the weakness. This is the man. This is how do you understand all the time? This is nothing new. You hear what I'm saying? It's been going on since the planet has been spent. Am I right or wrong? It's nothing new. In fact, the scripture says there's nothing new under the sun. Yeah? How it's dealt with is the important part of this. Do you see what I'm saying? I need you to reach out to all of the believers that haven't been coming out. And I need you to let them know that Muhammad's Temple of Islam needs you. We need you on point. We need you here to fight and struggle for Muhammad's Temple of Islam number 12. Do you follow what I'm saying? We are well on our way. How many of you like the sign we got out front? It's a beautiful sign. Am I right or wrong? It's a beautiful sign. Now, that's only a sign of things to come. Really. Because we are well on our way. Do you see what I'm saying? We're well on our way. And as we continue to build, and as the law continues to bless us, we can only go one way. And that's up. You follow me? That's up. It says, judge not. What? Let you be judged. Most of the fault finding against the temple comes from judgment calls. Right? Somebody makes a judgment call. Well, Brother Captain is too mean. That's a judgment call. Right? He's nasty. That's a judgment call. Well, Sister Captain is disagreeable. I don't like the way she... Uh, that's a judgment call. And people do okay making judgment calls. They do pretty good. Judging this, judging that. But when the sword flip, yeah. see? And now they are getting judged. There's a problem. Does anyone believe they could stop a law's plan? No, sir. Really? People ought to be smart enough to know they can't stop a law's plan. Allah will perfect his life. That's what the Quran says. He will perfect it. And it will only go further and further up. Everybody clear? Yes. I remember when the temple started in my living room. I 
I remember so well. We was in a spot paying rent and we got wise enough to say, well, why pay rent? Let's get some. And we withdrew to the living room, right? Yes, sir. And we continued to save our money and we ended up, what? Purchasing this building. And Allah blessed this building. Yes, sir. He blessed it. Even with the fire, he blessed it. Did y'all believe that? Yes, sir. Even with the fire, he blessed it. Because what happened is whereas people knew we believed, after we restored the building, mm -hmm. it wasn't no doubt in their heart and their mind that we believed. <coughs> and we found righteous Muslims that we connected with all around the country. Am I right or wrong? Now, mind you, I say righteous Muslims. Right. Right? Because some Muslims have other plans. That's right. Right? And we don't want to operate with this unless what? It's right. It's got to be right. Because if it's not right, it's like I said earlier. You putting a little cream in your coffee, you already changed it, right? But you mess around, pour a whole bottle of milk in the cup, run the coffee out, you drinking milk. Don't compromise your religion. Hold your ground. Do you hear what I'm saying? Hold your ground. And Allah will bless you. You will get so much further for it. You'll find that Allah is ever with the righteous. You won't have to take a back seat to anybody. Do you hear what I'm saying? You'll find that your advancement will be so fast and so great. You will be shocked. You will be amazed. Many people have come to this roster. Am I right? Yes, Over the years, yes, I've left the roster, roster pretty open. Even though I had suspicions of ministers, even though I had different views of them, they came in the name of Master Farah Muhammad. At least that's what they were saying. And the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And I've never denied them a chance to speak to you, have I? Can you think of any time? I said, no, nah, he ain't speak. Can you think of any time? Because we want to be fair here. Do you see what I'm saying? We want to be fair here. And in being fair and just, sometimes you are viewed as a softy. You know, some people take kindness, what? Yes, sir. But you have to be wise as serpents today, but humble as doves. You hear me? Don't have to be a braggart, you know, some kind of rough neck. You don't have to do that to prove your point. What you got to do is stay righteous and follow the messenger's teachings the way he taught them to you. And you will find that you don't have to be fighting with people or arguing with people or going through changes with people. Am I right or wrong? You'll be busy living the life of a Muslim. And in living the life of a Muslim, that's going to take you where you need to go. That's right. I call on you today to renew your belief. Yes, sir. You hear me? Yes. When you go home and you go to your private chamber, I want you to search your heart. And I want you to ask yourself, is there any reason why I should not love Muhammad's temple number 12 on Jefferson Street? Ask yourself that question. Have they done anything to me that would cause me to dislike them? And if you don't find anything, and I'm sure you're not, I want to ask you to rededicate yourself to Muhammad's temple. If you do that, you're going to want to tell people about the goodness of Allah. You hear me? You're going to want to tell people about the blessings you have received and the things that God has done in your life. It's not easy. Do you follow what I'm saying? It's not easy. Sometimes you have a load you have to carry. But it's all right. It's all right. They disrespected Jesus. What makes you think they won't disrespect you? Huh? They went to sleep on Jesus, right? What makes you think 
they won't sleep on their host on you. Huh? 